Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the remove element problem. Given an array nonce and the value val, remove all the instances of that value in place and return a new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with pick off one extra memory. The order of elements can be changed. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the new length. So here they give you two examples. In example one, this is the input nums that has this value 3223 2, 3, and the value to, to be removed is 3. So your function should return length 2 with the first two elements of nums being 2. So as you can see they want you to remove 3 from this array so the first two elements will be 2 2 and you return the length which is, which is 2. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the return length. So after these two elements are 2, 2, whatever is after that doesn't matter. In this example, you want to remove all instances of value 2. So your function returns length equals 5, with the first five elements of nums containing 0, 1, 3, 0, and 4. So as you can see, these are the elements that are left after removing 2 and the length is 5. So how can we solve this problem? Well, um, this problem we can solve it by having an invariant. We can maintain an invariant um, as we traverse the array and by maintaining the invariant all the elements will be uh, will be actually in the place that we want them to be. So we can have two indexes one left and one right, and right will be examining every element, and if I find that the element at position right is not equal to the value that I want to remove, then I put a position left and increment left. So by the end of the iteration, all the elements to the left of left will be the elements that are not this value here, for example, and then I can just return left. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have integer left gets a value of 0 and right gets a value of 0. And then I can say while right is less than nums.length, each time I will see if nums sub right is not equal to the value that I want to remove. What I want to do is just say nums sub left gets a value of nums sub right and because I already have this element a position left I increment left using the post increment operator and then every time I have to increment the right index so after the iteration I will just return left so as you can see, what we do is that right is always examining the element, and if that element is not equal to the value, we just put a position left and increment the left index. So by the end, all the elements that are not equal to the value will be to the left of the left index, and I just return the left index, index which is actually the, the length of the result. I will run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the array. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time. Thank you.